Japan plans to begin design work on a new, high-end air defense destroyer called 13DDX. This new class warship is set to enter service in the early 2030s and will provide layered air defense against evolving threats. The 13DDX advanced destroyer concept will draw on design from the Asahi 25DD class destroyers and Mogami 30 FFM class frigates. These in-service destroyers and frigates will contribute to the development of the 13DDX, integrating different concepts and capabilities. There are two operational contexts that the Ministry of Defense and JMSDF consider when designing this new destroyer. Firstly, countries like China, North Korea, and Russia have been rapidly developing military capabilities, including missile technologies and electronic warfare. Secondly, recent conflicts, such as Russia's war in Ukraine, have exposed new operational realities. These include the large-scale use of missiles, cyber warfare, and the use of uncrewed systems. The 13DDX destroyer will be designed to provide layered air defense capability to enable penetration and sustainability inside Adversary Anti-Access Area Denial, or A2AD coverage. It will also enhance connectivity to enable distributed maritime operations to counter concentrations and movements of adversary forces. Future requirements for the 13DDX destroyer include the use of new technologies such as uncrewed systems, directed energy weapons, and railguns. Air defense and information warfare, including electronic warfare, are two primary requirements for the new destroyer standoff air defense capacity with new surface-to-air missiles, and an overall integrated air missile defense capability will ensure advanced air defense capabilities are achieved. The Royal Navy is currently developing a new class of warship called the Type 83 destroyer. This destroyer will serve as a successor to the Type 45 anti-air warfare destroyer and is designed to be a cutting-edge, multi-mission platform that can operate in the most challenging environments. The Type 83 destroyers are expected to enter service in the mid-2030s. The Type 83 destroyer is expected to be larger and more capable than its predecessor. The Type 83 is a highly versatile and advanced naval vessel that is expected to perform three key roles. Firstly, it will serve as an effective anti-air warfare platform, equipped to defend against aircraft, hypersonic missiles, and conventional anti-ship missiles. This capability is crucial in safeguarding the fleet and maintaining air superiority in any potential conflict scenario. Secondly, the Type 83 is designed to provide anti-ballistic missile or ABM defense for the fleet. This means that it will be equipped with sophisticated missile systems capable of intercepting and neutralizing incoming ballistic missiles. In addition to protecting the naval assets, the ABM missiles might also possess some anti-satellite capabilities, enhancing the overall defensive capabilities of the vessel. Lastly, the Type 83 will possess land attack cruise missiles, or LACM capacity, which will significantly enhance the UK's ability to engage and strike targets on land from long distances. It is expected that the Type 83 may have limited anti submarine warfare capabilities. To optimize space and reduce costs, it is possible that the Type 83 will feature a smaller flat deck and a lighter helicopter and unmanned aerial vehicle hangar, reflecting a more minimalistic approach to aviation capabilities. The Type 83 potentially armed with up to 128 cells for vertical launch missiles. Apart from that, laser weapons and rail guns are also likely to be installed on this warship. Thus, the Royal Navy's new Type 83 destroyer will become the UK's deadliest warship. The DDGX program, designated PMS-460, was first initiated back in 2021 with the goal of developing a new class of warships that would replace the US Navy's aging Ticonderoga-class cruisers and older Arlo class destroyers. The aim is to have the first vessels of this new class enter service in the early 2030s, ensuring the Navy remains equipped with the most advanced and capable warships. 
When it comes to weapons and sensors, the new DDGX warship will be similar to EGS combat system employed on the Arlo Burke class Flight 3 DDGs. This system has proven to be extremely effective in various operations and provides the warship with powerful capabilities. Additionally, the propulsion for the DDGX could be based on the integrated power system employed on the US Navy's three Zumwalt class destroyers. These advanced systems allows for the use of higher power equipment and even paves the way for potential incorporation of directed energy weapons. This means that the DDGX will be armed with cutting-edge technology that ensures it remains at the forefront of naval warfare. The baseline design for the DDGX includes 96 standard vertical launch systems VLSLs. These cells serve as a platform for launching various types of missiles in their crucial aspect of the warship's offensive and defensive capabilities. Additionally, the DDGX has the ability to incorporate 12 large missile launch cells, which can be swapped in place of 32 of the 96 standard VLSLs. This allows for greater flexibility in terms of weapon selection and mission profiles. Furthermore, the DDGX is equipped with two 21-cell ruling airframe missile or RAM launchers, further enhancing its air defense capabilities. Lastly, the Navy has emphasized the importance of reducing the DDGX vulnerability by reducing its infrared, acoustic, and underwater electromagnetic signatures. By minimizing these signatures, the warship becomes harder to detect and track by potential adversaries, enhancing its survivability in combat situations.